Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Calibration Academy. If you are new on this channel, and if you have not subscribed our channel yet, then please subscribe this channel and press bell icon to get notification. And if you want video on some specific topic, please let us know in comment box. This is a short video on, how to measure interface of two fluids that have different specific gravities. As you can see, in this example, I'm going to use DP transmitter for interface level measurement. First of all, I'm going to calculate calibration range for this DP transmitter. To determine calibration range for this transmitter, I will make four assumptions. Firstly, let's assume that, at the lower calibrated value or at 4 mA point, the tank is filled with fluid which has low specific gravity. Secondly, let's also assume that, at the upper calibrated value or at 20 mA point, the tank is filled with fluid which has high specific gravity. In addition to this, let's assume that, overall level must be equal to, or higher than low pressure tap. Last but not the least, let's assume that, reference level is always seen by low pressure side. In other words, the reference level must have a constant height and density. Now, let's go to calculation steps. As you can see, when the tank is filled with lighter fluid, the transmitter is at 4 mA, and this is the standard equation to calculate lower range value of this transmitter. In this equation, L is total measured level, which is 100 inch in this example. S2 is specific gravity of lighter fluid in tank, which is 1 in this example. S1 is specific gravity of heavier fluid in the tank, which is 1.04 in this example. H is the distance between taps, which is 100 inch. SF is the specific gravity of reference leg. In this example, reference leg is filled with glycerin, and its specific gravity is 1.263. Now, put all these values into this equation, and do the simple math calculation. You will get minus 26.3 inches H2O, which is our lower range value for DP transmitter. In other words, when transmitter reads minus 26.3 inches H2O, the tank is filled with lighter fluid. As you can see, this is the standard equation to calculate upper range value of this transmitter. Now, put all these values into this equation, and do the simple math calculation. When you do math calculation, you will get minus 22.3 inches H2O, which is our upper range value for this transmitter. In other words, when transmitter reads minus 22.3 inches H2O, the tank is filled with heavier fluid. As you can see, this is the standard formula to calculate interface level. In this equation, dp is the present measured differential pressure value after calibration. LCV means lower calibrated value, which is minus 26.3 inches H2O in this example. Span is the difference between upper calibrated value and lower calibrated value, which is 4. L is total measured level, which is 100 inch in this example. To determine where the interface of a mixture of fluids is, let's assume that present transmitter output is 16.7 mA, or present measured differential pressure is minus 23.12 inches H2O. Now, put all these values into equation, and do the simple math calculation you will get 79.5 inch, which is our interface level in this example. Let me explain you this thing by graphically. As you can see from this graph, when transmitter reads minus 23.12 inches H2O, or when transmitter output is 16.7 mA, interface level is 79.5 inch. And at this height, tank is partially filled with heavier fluid, and partially filled with lighter fluid. Thank you friends for watching this video. Please give us your valuable feedback in comment box. Thank you once again.